How's it going, everyone? Marilyn here, and it's time for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. All right, so this is gonna be a little bit different of an episode of my Mystery Dungeon series because we're going into the Buried Relic today. Now, rather than show you the entire five hours of footage to get through here, I'll kind of just go over the Buried Relic, getting to the bottom of it, what I brought in, and some general tips of how to recruit Mew. That's right, you can get the legendary, the mythical Pokemon Mew down in the Buried Relic. So in order to do that, you first need to unlock the Buried Relic, of course. You do that into the post game, and you know, it's kind of a main thing. Everyone's all like, hey, yeah, we should go down there. I think it's after you've beaten the Stormy Sea, if I'm not mistaken, but whatever the case, it's something that, you know, it seems daunting because it's a 99 floor dungeon, but you don't need to clear all 99 floors in order to reap the rewards. So how it works, you, you'll you encounter the three Reggies down there. You'll encounter Reggie Rock at the 15th floor, 15th basement. You'll encounter Regice on the 25th floor. And then you'll encounter Reggie Steel on the 35th floor. So you need to fight all three of them in order to get the music box item. So uh, you'll end up getting, what is it, the rock part and then the ice part. And then when you beat Reggie Steel, you'll get the steel part. So basically, after you've beaten Reggie Steel, that's when you get the music box. Uh, so you need to have that in order to even have Mew appear in the Buried Relic in the first place. So in order to actually recruit all of those Reggies, you just need to beat them once and then go back there. When you go back there, you'll have to fight them again. But then when you beat them the second time, that's when they'll want to join you. And then for future adventures through, you don't have to fight them. In fact, it's actually kind of like a, a checkpoint where all of your Pokemon get healed. And that's pretty handy if you're going through the 99 floor dungeon. Despite it being 99 floors, it's actually not that tough as far as 99 floor dungeons go. And there's a lot of amazing rewards there too, which I strongly recommend you take advantage of as you go down there to find Mew. So again, your first goal of getting through the Buried Relic should be to get to floor 35. If you can do that, great. That's ideal for your first trip through. You gotta be careful though. I strongly recommend bringing in two, at bare minimum, two escape orbs. Because what can happen and what you'll find a lot of down there, you will find a lot of apple traps and these will turn one item in your inventory at random into a big apple now sometimes that can be helpful but it is also terrible if that happens to turn your escape orb into a big apple because then you're stuck in a 99 floor dungeon with no way out really so bring two if one does turn into a, a big apple, get the heck out of there before it's too late. Uh, yeah, kind of scary if that happens. So, uh, and yeah, that might have happened to me. <laughs> uh, I mean, I brought two, I was fine, but yeah, that's definitely something you have to keep in mind as you go through the Buried Relic. Now, if you have something like the goggle specs, this will help you see traps on the, the floor, on the room that you're in and switching between that and a Pokemon with the X-Ray specs is a very good idea while exploring this place. Now, before we get to Mew, I wanna talk about how to really power up your Pokemon while going through the Buried Relic. So, inside of the walls, yes, that's right, the walls of the Buried Relic, there are stat-boosting items, citrus berries, life seeds, protein, calcium, carbose, zinc, iron, the works. You can get all of those things inside of the walls if you have, well, there's several different ways to get them. Uh, the most effective ways would be using a ghost type Pokemon, preferably, <laughs> in fact, actually, it has to be something that I think is 
like its primary type is ghost, like the first type. So for instance, Sableye. Yeah, I brought Sableye. I was hoping it would work, but no, it's not ghost enough. Uh, it didn't work, so that will not work. But something like Gengar, for instance, or Haunter would probably be a little bit better of a bet because of Levitate. Or you could use Mistrevis or something. Yeah, I think just Sableye and Frostlass. Those are two that come to mind that can't pass through walls. But anyway, Ghost-type Pokémon are able to pass through walls. So one effective way of clearing... Well, not clearing the dungeon, but getting all the goodies is to bring one of those ghost types with you and then have them go into the walls. You can have them equip the uh, the x-ray specs so then they can see where the items are because they won't be visible. You can only see them on your little mini map. So you have to kind of figure out where they are and then walk into the wall at that point. Now, keep in mind when you walk into a wall, like inside of a wall through pretty much any of these methods, it will consume five belly points per turn. So you need to mitigate that by having either a lot of food or ideally some rare qualities that will help. I'll go over that in just a moment. But anyway, in addition to having a ghost type Pokemon, some other options include having the rare quality Forge a Path, which lets you break down walls, which will also reveal the item, and that actually consumes less belly from what I hear. It does consume a little bit, but that could be a really nice way, how, uh, a really nice way of getting the items. However, it is a fairly rare, rare quality, and you know, you might not have it on the Pokemon you want to bring in. So that's kind of a problem. The other thing is the mobile scarf. So the mobile scarf, this is a rare scarf that you can find in certain post-game dungeons. I don't recall off the top of my head, but when you get one, that's definitely a good thing. You might be able to buy it too in like a Kecleon shop. I don't remember where I got mine. But anyway, this is an effective item that you can have on one of your Pokemon. In my case, I put it on my Sableye because, I don't know, I, I couldn't walk through the walls with the Sableye. But I already had it, and it had a really good rare quality to help get through the Buried Relic. So this is basically the same thing. It lets you move through any terrain, including walls. Now as you walk through walls, again, it does consume your belly. It's like five belly per turn, so it's kind of expensive. But like I just said, my Sableye had a good rare quality for it. It had small stomach, and this is a fantastic rare quality for getting through the Buried Relic. I strongly, strongly recommend having something with this to get through. Because with the small stomach, whenever you eat any food item, so anything like uh, an orange berry or a Pecha berry even, even a plain seed, it will fill your stomach up in its entirely, or entirety. So it's very, very good for, you know, going through the walls, and running out of food or belly, and then you can just eat anything to bring that back. If you combo that with something with, uh, let's see, Food Finder, which helps you find tiny apples, you'll never have a food problem. And that's actually what made it so easy for me to get through the Buried Relic this time around. I, I wasn't even intending on going through the Buried Relic during this run, but I ended up recruiting a bunch of Pokemon that had really helpful rare qualities such as, uh, I don't remember if I had something with Leave Half, but I know I got something with Food Finder, and that coupled with, um, with Small Stomach, that's just, it's such a good combo. So I figured I'd just go as far as I could, and it worked out pretty well. But yeah, that's what I'd recommend as far as, you know, if you really want to get all the items, all the stat boosters, like, you can get insane amounts. You'll have no problem just buffing your Pokemon stats to just ridiculously high levels as you go through here, searching for Mew. And you can do that even on the earlier floors, too. So even if you don't feel like you're able to take on, well, not really take on Mew, but take on the 99 floor dungeon, maybe just go like 20 or 30 floors in, ideally to floor 35 so you can get the, uh, the music box and then have a chance at getting you. But, you know, even if you're not able to do that, just dive in with two escape orbs, get what you can, and then come back another time too. That's a good way to power up in post game. Okay, so you've gotten the music box, you've gotten to floor 35, now what? Well, <laughs> now the fun begins. 
So, this is different from the original Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team. This is different, as are a lot of things in the game. But in this one, from what I've gathered, Mew will appear on floors 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then 98. Now, it's not guaranteed to appear on any of these floors. Those are the only floors that it can appear on. So, when you reach one of those floors, that's when you want to pay extra attention to everything going on. So, Mew has the attack transform. This allows it to transform into any Pokemon, and then it gets its moves, and it also gets its appearance. So, when you're on one of these floors, you want to make sure you're paying extra careful attention to the, uh, the message box to see if it says Mew Use Transform. And if you see that, you have to then watch out for whatever it transforms into. Now, unfortunately, I did not happen to see this in action. I didn't run into Mew until quite later on in the dungeon, so I, I can't really share any footage of this, but this is something that I've heard that can be kind of confusing and also a little, a little scary. Now, something I recommend, you know, we're, we're gonna go through the Mew hunting strategies here, at least ones that in theory would work because <laughs> I had a bit of an interesting experience with Mew. We'll get to that when I get there. So we're, we're gonna just kind of talk as I show some highlights in the background here of my time through the Buried Relic. But yeah, what I would recommend, have stay away wands. These are really important. What they do is when you wave it at an enemy, it will then teleport it somewhere else on the floor and it will be petrified so it won't move. So once you find that Mew, the last thing you wanna have happen is to have your allies knock it out. Remember, only the leader can recruit a Pokemon. It has to be the one to deliver the final blow. If any of your allies end up, you know, damaging it and knocking it out, there goes your chance at getting Mew. And you might have to wait around for it to show up again. I don't know if it if it's one per floor or what. I know that if it doesn't spawn on the floor, at first, you can just wait. You can hold in R and then A uh, to wait, or just walk around and it might still spawn. Very helpful if you have a um, X-ray specs equipped. That's a good idea for that. But yeah, you know, you don't really want to have your allies knock it out. So that's why the stay away wand is really helpful. Once you've found Mew, try to prioritize using that and preferably with a Pokemon that has the X-Ray specs equipped so you can see which room it ends up going into. After you've done that, a good idea is to try to lead your Pokemon into a tunnel going into that room, but then have one of your, your control or controllable Pokemon, you know, one of your main three, have it wait in the tunnel so then no Pokemon will go in there. Like it won't use any moves, it'll just be stuck in the tunnel. But then your ally Pokemon, like any recruits that you bring along, they won't be able to, to go past it. Which is really, really important because if they do, they could end up like using their moves or throwing items at it. Ideally you want it to be a one-on-one. -on -one. So that's something I strongly recommend. Now there are a few different orbs that could help with this. There are like some seeds, like the warp seed, I guess, but my favorite is the stay away wand because it does the job. It gets it out of the way where then you can kind of go to it and have that one-on-one -on -one experience. And that'll give you the best chance at making sure your allies don't knock it out or there aren't any uh, unfortunate accidents. So yeah, now anyway, once you've gotten Mew alone, where it's just you, just your leader Pokemon. It doesn't have to be like whoever's number one. It just has to be, you know, whoever you have control over. So having something with the X-ray specs, you can either switch to a different Pokemon or you can just use that, uh, whatever works for you. But if you want to have the best chance of getting it, you might want to have a Pokemon 
with the move false swipe. This might not be your leader, it might be something else you're bringing in, and you don't need to have it, but it really does help. And you really wanna take as much of a, uh, uh, well, you wanna have as many things that boost your chances of catching it as possible. Because unfortunately, it is not an auto recruitment. It's definitely up to chance. <laughs> so yeah, you gotta be ready for that. Now, things to boost your chance of recruiting Mew. The friend bow, that's really good. Definitely recommend equipping that before attacking it after you've used the stay away wand. So switch to that. The move false swipe, if you knock it out with that, it'll increase the chance of recruiting it. So ideally you'd have something linked to that, have that be the last move in the link, but that might be more of an ideal situation. An inviting orb. That is also something that you can use to increase your chances of having Mew join your team. Strongly recommend that if you brought one. If you didn't, whoops, probably not gonna be able to find that. But that definitely is a good idea to pack one of those in your bag, just in case. And then the rare qualities, friendly and squad up. So squad up, if you have a full squad of eight Pokemon, your three that you brought in and then five recruits, that should increase the chances of you recruiting Mew by a lot. And then the rare quality friendly, it just increases the chances just no matter what. So these are all things that improve the chances. It doesn't guarantee it, but it improves it. So as many of those as you have access to, great. Use those. However, if you don't have them all, that's okay too. It just means it might take a few more tries. So again, a refresher, you can find Mew on floors 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then 98. If you don't see it immediately, keep in mind that, you know, it, it might spawn in as you go through the floor. And also keep in mind that it might have transformed into a Pokemon, so pay careful attention to the message box to see, did it say Mew use transform? If it did, watch out. Muse somewhere on that floor, be ready for it. And you know, you might wanna just tell all of your allies not to attack, maybe have them just wait in a room, whatever the case, because remember, your Pokemon has to be the one to deliver the final blow. And of course, if you're not entirely familiar with the range of recruitment, you have to be within two tiles of that Pokemon. So, you know, if you use like a room clearing move, then it won't let you recruit Mew, if you happen to knock it out from more than two tiles in a square around you away. Like, think of it as a uh, a 5x5 five five grid with you centered in the middle. Like, you should be able to recruit anything in that grid, and that should work. Okay, so yeah, that's how you get Mew, essentially. Um, it's kind of a little bit... I, I don't know. Like, I would recommend, while going through, use this opportunity to also get all of the vitamins and power up your Pokemon. Because if that's your quote unquote primary goal, hopefully it'll just run into Mew and everything will be fine. And it'll it'll just work out. It's not a guarantee, but at least you're not like spending all of your time just going for that and ignoring the items because the items are exceptionally good. You can use that to just boost your stats through the roof and that's wonderful. Now also, when you get to the bottom of the Buried Relic, it's uh, it's quite rewarding. I mean, it's a 99 floor dungeon, there's no boss at the end, but you do get just a fantastic selection of items. I think it's like eight evolution crystals and four deluxe boxes and a friend bow. So that's pretty nice. I mean, it's not like, I wouldn't farm it for that. You farm Buried Relic for Mew and for the vitamins, of course, but it's still a pretty decent reward. So that's what I would, uh, I'd recommend doing that. Um, I'd recommend getting vitamins, having that be your primary goal. If you run into Mew, great. If not, you know, at least you got vitamins, right? Okay, so that's like, I don't know, my explanation of this, my highlights, as I kind of mentioned, this was a five hour recording. So obviously I'm not gonna even be able to speed that all up and show you everything. It's just, it really wasn't actually that tough. 
Like, it really wasn't. And, you know, the rare qualities I had made it very, very easy to get through, all things considered. So, I guess what I'll do is I'll share some of my highlights here, including me recruiting Mew. And, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But again, I think this will wrap up my explanation. Hopefully that made sense to you. Hopefully this is an alright format and it wasn't too boring. And good luck to you if you're going down into the Buried Relic to either power up your Pokémon or to get the mythical Pokémon Mew. Anyway, let's take a look at some of the highlights, things that were noteworthy that I didn't show in this little montage here. And you'll see my reaction to finding Mew and recruiting it. Oh yeah. And don't forget to buy the final island camp because you'll be so sad if you go there and you don't have this thing. Oh my gosh, what a big monster house. Jeez. Uh, it's so roomy. How do I want to handle this? I could blizzard and hope for the best. I'm gonna get destroyed by the Ampharos, though. Uh, I didn't think about this one. Yo, that's what I needed to see. <laughs> Alright! There we go. Ah! What was I thinking? Okay. Oh, you're still here. Get out of here. Thank you. All right, tunnel wand. Oh, that's pretty handy. Uh, although I don't know if it really needs a spot. My items. More iron spikes. I'm actually kind of liking those things. Uh, okay. Wow, there's no sparkling spot. That's a shame. Stairs. All right, well. Oh, I didn't have my, uh, I didn't have my radar. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well, it's fine. Ampharos, what are you doing? Oh, well, this is interesting. Looks like there is indeed. Oh, look at that. Look at that damage. That thing is getting destroyed. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so yeah, I, I decided to keep going. I am 45 floors deep now. Oh man, look at all these enemies showing up. Uh, yeah, but it looks like there is indeed a mystery house here, which is pretty exciting. My inventory is getting absolutely packed. My stats are through the roof, which is wonderful. So yeah, I might as well use this invitation here. Okay, let's see. What goodies are in here? Only one Pokemon? Cloyster. Actually, Cloyster could be really good. Uh, alright. So not exactly like the biggest haul here, unfortunately. Some useful items. Not as good as that last one, though. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh... I guess we'll swap for that tiny apple. Let's talk to Cloyster. Let's see, what... Do you have for your rare quality uh blast control not all that good unfortunately cloister is really nice though if you can get uh whatchamacallit on it like it has shell smash oh my gosh that thing's crazy shell armor uh it doesn't have skill link if it had skill link this thing would be amazing because you use shell smash and then skill link and it has a uh, spike cannon, I believe. So it's just, oh man, it's so good. Unfortunately, this one does not have it. It doesn't have a good rare quality. Everyone on my team right now is really good. I did upgrade the Machop to a Machoke, which I already have Machoke, but this thing has riled up, which is great. <laughs> that is really good. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this thing behind. I'm sorry. Okay, well that was a bit of a letdown. Um, let's see, what other items? Just a tiny reviver seed, wow. I mean, here I am complaining, but still. I guess I'll get rid of this Orin Berry. I've been just feeding all of my Orin Berries to my Sableye. My HP is like so high right now. I honestly don't think I need those normal boxes. Yeah, I don't think I need any of this stuff. Dang. I guess the max elixir is okay. Oh well. Oh, 
shiny ditto again. Oh man, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll try to get this thing. I need to put the friend bow on. I guess we'll have Zippy fight it, right? All right, I mean, I might as well let it take some damage first, right? Who's it gonna transform into, though? Uh, Zippy. Oh man, everyone's all confused. Okay, I I don't know if this is gonna work. I'll at least try it. Uh, okay, don't use move. And... Is this even gonna work, though? Yeah, let's go for it. You know what would be smart? If I used, like, a warp wand or something. Send this thing away. Oh, no. Alright, actually, this might work out really well. No, it probably won't. <laughs> uh... What is even going on right now? Oh, riled up, that's what. So, wait, what do I have? I might actually be able to recruit this thing. I could use the stay away wand to move it away, and then I'll be able to locate it. Yeah, let's try that out. Okay, so it's out of there. I see where it is on the map now. See, that was the big problem, is just not really knowing where it is. Uh, thanks, Volbeat. <laughs> but now I know where it is, and I can kind of keep everyone- Ooh, this is handy. I can kind of keep everyone at bay, which is pretty nice. All right, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, I'm up to floor 51 now. It's pretty crazy. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to want to do, I'm going to want to- oh. Shoot, how do I get everyone out of here? All right. Sure, that's fine. You can go ahead and do that. Um. Okay. So we need to move Zippy right there. And then I think if I do wait there, I'm going to have to 1v1, but that, that should be fine. All right, wait there. Then... Let me take this friend bow. We'll swap that with the x-ray specs. So that should give me a little bit better of a chance. All right, and then I need to get close enough. I'll get that thing in a moment. <laughs> Hi, Zippy! Uh, yeah, this is close enough, so hopefully this will work. No, it didn't want to join. Oh well, it was worth a shot. What the heck happened? The software was closed because an error occurred. Uh... Alright, so this is an interesting thing. And I have heard about that, that sometimes while going through dungeons and while pressing plus to switch around your party members, sometimes it can cause the software to crash, which is kind of unfortunate. However, this is a good example of when autosave actually saves you. So yeah, I mean, I'm right where I was. <laughs> so yeah, even though I don't really have the uh, the lovely ability to save scum like in the old games, at least this saved the day in this instance. So that's nice. Good to know. Yo, this is a nice shift tree. This one does have leave half which is uh, just absolutely overpowered with my setup right now. But yeah, and it has chlorophyll too. So I think this thing will be a really good addition to the team. I just don't know what to get rid of. This Ella kit has been really helpful. Honestly, everything has. Um, I guess probably Chingling, because Evasive Rhythm. Yeah, I don't know. I think we'll get rid of that. Oh boy, shiny ditto again. Uh, I should be fine. But let me do it this way. So hopefully ditto will transform into Zippy. And I think that's surround, or not surround wand, the uh, stay away wand. 
I think that's a really good idea. So let's use this. So then that thing will be out of there. Uh, is there anything I can restore? You know what? Let's restore Ice Beam here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to track this thing down. So let's go ahead and visit it. Again, I want to lock most of my teammates in this hall here. Should be able to even use Surf. Well, I don't think that's going to be as effective. All right, let's uh, have a little tactics meeting. Wait there. And the other thing I need to do is put on the friend bow. Got to do that. I don't even know what I'm going to do with the shiny ditto, but I just want to get it. Gosh darn it. All right, now I just have to wail at this thing until I uh, will hopefully recruit it. I don't have anything to increase my odds other than the friend bow, unfortunately. So even if I do find Mew, I'm going to be... Oh, I didn't get it. <laughs> even if I do find Mew, it's not a guarantee I'll even recruit it. That's a lot of Hitmonchan, what the heck? It's Shiny Ditto again. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, I'm just so sick of this thing. Okay, you know what? Transform into Sableye. Just do it. Just do it. No, you didn't do it. All right, well, let's try this again. floors deep into this buried relic and who do I see snoozing there after four hours and 38 minutes throughout the whole dungeon I see it there it is the mythical Pokemon Mew oh man okay so I have to handle this extremely carefully now unfortunately I don't have an ideal setup that's just the reality uh, what I would want to have is, like, an inviting orb. I'd like to have something with false swipe. Um, I do have squad up. Oh, if I had something with friendly, that'd also be helpful, because I do actually have to recruit this thing. It doesn't auto-join from what I've heard, at least. Okay, so... I think I'm gonna one-on-one -on -one this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and have a little tactics meeting. Everyone, I want you to just wait there. All right, well, at least I have the benefit of this thing is sleeping first, so that's kind of nice. And I have so many stats now that this shouldn't be difficult. Uh, all right, well, let me make sure I have the friend bow on. Yes, I do. I have squat up. It's about as good as I can get right now. It's not perfect, but maybe I'll get lucky. This is definitely a challenge. Normally you have to, oh my gosh, I got it. I got it first try. Oh yes. Oh man. Oh. Wow, okay. I am so glad I bought Final Island beforehand. You need to have Final Island or you will cry. Oh, man. So there it is. Mew. Oh, that is so exciting. Okay, now here, here's the question. Who do I get rid of for Mew? Um, everyone has been pretty darn good. Thankfully, I only have a few more floors left, so we're basically done. We're in the end game. This Elekid has been fantastic, though, with Discharge. Uh, I 
guess the Volbeat, I don't really need healing. Like, it's nice. It's useful. Oh man, but I would like to take this thing along. I want everything, but I really want Mew. Oh man, uh... Food Finder. <sighs> Food Finder is really nice. But I feel like I'm finding enough that I'll be okay. Yeah, that was super helpful to get through here. I can't believe that I am 90 floors deep. Now, you don't have to clear the dungeon in order to get Mew. You don't. Like, you can just use an escape orb after you've recruited it and get the heck out of there, which is perfectly valid. That's a very good strategy. I'm at the 90th floor, so I might as well finish this thing. But, oh man, I feel so good having this thing. I was thinking that this would be one of the biggest pains, and especially because I wasn't really that well equipped for it. Uh, you know, normally I would recommend, you know, after you've gotten all of the Reggies, like, go do a dedicated hunt from you. You know, have all the things that increase your chances. Friend bow, that's super helpful. Uh, I most certainly did not have everything. I've been at this for almost five hours now, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> but it's worked out really well, because here's what I recommend doing. Uh, if you're just looking to multitask, like, look at these stats now. Look at these stats. They have literally doubled. Most of them have literally doubled since I started this. My HP has, like, tripled. That's just from this Sableye with a mobile... It could be anything with a mobile scarf, honestly. But that with the x-ray specs so you can get all the items. It's so handy. Wait, what was I drinking? Yeah, calcium. I mean, I, I just... Every floor, I just try to pick up whatever I can. All right, so yeah. I mean, that's that's definitely something I recommend. It really... Uh, I don't know, it passes the time. Because then it's not like, oh, I'm frustrated not finding Mew. Now, apparently Mew can use Transform, which is pretty helpful because it will show it in the uh, the message box down on the bottom. It will show that. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Everyone's still waiting around. All right, you don't need to wait. It's fine. Uh, actually, might almost be better to have them wait. Also, I don't think this dungeon has been that tough. Like, there are some enemies, but I feel like they've been relatively tame. So as far as a, uh, a level, you know, or a 99 floor dungeon, it actually hasn't been too bad. So like you can totally just grind this place, but I so recommend grinding it to get like a ton, a ton of the vitamins. You get them in the walls as I've kind of shown in the past. It's just great. Like it's fantastic. Oh, I'm so excited about this Mew though. You have no idea. All right, well, I'm gonna finish up these remaining floors and I'll see you at the bottom. All right, here I am. Floor 98, the last actual floor that I have to deal with. And there's a Kecleon shop. Who on earth is gonna buy your items all the way down here? So I've officially, like, it just turned five hours for this one recording. Oh my gosh. Uh, that is pretty crazy. Yeah, I had no clue how these, uh, how these dungeons are gonna go, like these 99 floor ones. Now, I know that this one will probably be a little slower for me to get through just because I am, like, boosting my stats through the roof. I mean, look at these. These are absolutely mad. But it's so good. It is so good. Uh, let's see. I am really curious what that Kecleon has. I used one Guiding Wand, but otherwise I'd like to take most of them with me. Um, because I think they'll be helpful for some future dungeons, actually. Alright, what do we have here? So there's an Evolution Crystal, a Spurn Orb. Using it warps all enemies in the same room to somewhere else on the floor. That sounds like that could be quite useful as well. And since this is the final floor, I can get rid of things that I don't really need. I know I want this evolution crystal because I have so much money. I picked up two deluxe, uh, deluxe ribbons throughout this. Uh, actually, you know what? 
I have so many max elixirs. It's so weird to actually get rid of one of those. Ooh, pure seeds. Those are also very good. Um, and this is extremely cheap, too. <laughs> wow, I'm getting rid of my max elixirs. What is this alternate reality that I have found myself in? Uh, what do we have here? Wigglytuff Orb. Yeah, not really gonna help. Okay, that should do it. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, look at all this money I have. Alright, so let's, uh... See if I can find that. But yeah, this is... I have no clue how I'm going to end up editing this at the time of this recording. Because honestly, I didn't really know what to expect. How much time it would take to even get through these. So now I kind of have an idea. It's not great. <laughs> uh, not at all. Okay, let's see. Um, I guess food doesn't really matter right now. Carbos. Yeah, it's just so nice to be able to just dive into these walls and just get whatever item, you know? It's so good. Uh, excuse me. All right, where's that last thing? So it's up in this corner somewhere. There we go, protein. Yeah, I wasn't really planning on adding to my attack stat, but I don't know, I gave some to Sableye and then it's like, you know, I don't really need Sableye. <laughs> I mean, it's okay and all, don't get me wrong, but it's not actually, like, something that helpful. Uh, and man, I can't believe how much HP I have. This is absolutely crazy. And this is just in one trip. Alright, here we go. Floor 99. Now, there's no boss to worry about down here. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh. Look at all this treasure. How am I going to carry all of this? So what's this? Oh, another friend bow. Well, I wouldn't mind having one of those. Okay, well, I got to get my inventory sorted out. Get rid of things I really don't need. All right, is it sad that I got rid of, like, all of my tiny reviver seeds? <laughs> oh, man, and even my revive all orbs. But look at all this loot I got. An extra friend bow, that's... Great. Not super useful, because again, like, you can get it in the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the solar cave. But yeah, look at all these evolution crystals and deluxe boxes. Now, this is not the best way to get evolution crystals. You do get eight, but, I mean, it took me, like, five hours. All right, let's finish this. Wow, I can't believe I got Mew before getting... Two of the Reggies. That is insane. All right. Open all at once. I can't even look at all this stuff. Look at all this. Wow. That's so good. I'm going to need a lot of DX gummies. Okay. <laughs> I absolutely need to make sure I mash A. So to get through here, I mean, I, this is my first time clearing a 99 floor dungeon in any mystery dungeon for that matter. But the rare qualities were super helpful here. Like, having stuff that just takes away your need for food, very handy. Uh, leave half. Like, picking this thing up, that helped. I didn't have it right away, but it had chlorophyll. This thing's gonna go great on my Sunny Day Squad. Um, but going in there with, uh... Oh, Steamroll is also very handy. That's why I have this thing. It also has chlorophyll, so that'll be great. Mew! Oh, yes. Oh, that's so exciting. All right. Whew! <laughs> that was exhausting! Oh my gosh. All right, I need to go see this Mew. I, I need to see it. I've already seen its stats and everything. It tagged along for a while. Can't believe we did that, Zippy. Wow. All right, just so we can all see. Mew in the final island. Aw, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and what's really wild about that, here, just in case none of you believe me, even though it was in this video. <laughs> uh, yeah, we only have one of the things. Wait, where's my, where's my Reggies? Where are they even at? 
Ancient Relic? Oh yeah, there we go. See, we only have Regirock. It's crazy. So that means my first dive into the depths. Like, the first chance I could get Mew, I got it. Uh, so lucky. So lucky. Good luck to all of you trying to get that thing, because from what I've heard, it is a pain. It is something that is definitely a pain because it's RNG. You don't know what floor out of those 99 floors you're going to find it in. And even then, there's not a guaranteed chance it will join you like the other legendaries. Thankfully, the other legendaries, they have been changed, as far as I know, to pretty much an auto-join condition. In the original game, that was not the case. Like, I, I haven't really gotten any of the legendaries back then. It really scared me. But from what I read, yeah, if uh, if you kind of, if, if you, you know, were going into a dungeon and trying to get the legendary, it was just a chance you could get it. You might have to go through a 40 floor dungeon multiple times just to get that uh, and then fail it over and over. So <laughs> thankfully they fixed that. But yeah, Mew is still a challenge like the old days. But anyway, I feel great having that thing. I want to get that powered up. I'll probably go to uh, to the Buried Relic and give it one of the stat tours. <laughs> now that I can just go there and walk through everything, like Zippy and I, we'll, we'll handle it. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video turned out all right, because there was so much going into it. Again, I've been recording for five hours. I have no clue how I'm going to do this. So hopefully it turned out all right. And there's still several more 99 floors to go through. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, everyone.